this game to get off to a, a fast start, considering how well you know Kansas State can hold the ball, and that psychologically you guys might be a little bit. The, the beginning of that, I, I didn't hear you. How, how important is it to get off to a relatively successful start you know, in this game? And is it any more important in this game than it would be? <laughs> I mean, that's the point in every game, to be honest with you. But, I mean, I, I don't think we've done that yet. Maybe the William & Mary game we drove down first drive. Yeah, five. But, um, but, yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to try to – I mean, we try to start fast every week. And I think that part of it is learning the identity of this team and how to start, you know. I think um, – you know, I mean, I think we've got a pretty good feel for it, so hopefully we can start a little faster this week than we've been. And, uh, yeah, so that's definitely, a, that's definitely a, a stress point from our end to them. They've been tougher against the run, <coughs> against uh, every opponent that they've been up against. Uh, what do you see all of that? What are some ways around their defense? It's hard to move them. You know, I mean, they, they'll play with a weak box at times, but – their interior guys are they don't move a lot you know they come off and you don't get a lot of movement on them so you know, i think running the ball is it's going to be tough you know i mean nobody's really lined up and ran the ball great against them and so you know obviously we're going to try to i mean there's things we're going to try to do in the run game but to do that we got to we got to build a sustained blocks and move those guys out of there and they've done a really good job you know watching them on film of of closing up the gaps by just not being able to be moved. And so those guys are tough in the middle. So why was that team so good against uh, Baylor's offense? Who's that, Kansas State? Uh, Kansas State, yeah. I don't know. I mean, um, why do you think? <laughs> uh, just to uh, probably uh, <laughs> I mean, there's probably a lot of factors into it. I mean, I think that uh, they stopped the run. Nobody's really stopped Baylor's run yet. And so Kansas State did a good – and it's like I said up front, I mean, Baylor wasn't able to move those guys. So – I think that um, if you look at Baylor playing away versus home, I think they were like two and eight or two and nine the last eleven games away and ten and zero at home. I think that's probably got. It's hard to win on the road in the Big Twelve, and so that's probably got something to do with it. And so there's probably some factors I don't even know about. You know. Do you ever watch that and think like you know this is maybe what they can do against against us or anything like that? Do I watch what now? Do you ever watch them and think like oh you know could they do this against us or watch Kansas State? Yeah. I watch, yeah, I watch everything they did. That's what I've been doing for the last two days. But yeah, I mean, we we got we. I mean, Kansas State's a defense. You know where they're gonna line up. There's not smoke and mirrors. They don't have a lot of disguises. I mean, they're gonna line up and hit you right in the mouth. And you're gonna know where they line up every single time. So, and you know, and then the, the challenge is is to you know get out there and, and hit them back in the mouth and then be able to execute. You know, in a way, they pretty much know what we're going to do and we know what they're going to do. So, you know, we'll see who executes it the best. It's also a tough coaching matchup with Bill Snyder, one of the best in the game. What do you expect to see, just the traits from players with the Bill Snyder coach team, especially with him having an extra week to prepare for this game? I mean, I don't think, I mean, knowing him, he's not going to change much. His philosophy is set in stone. If you look at their defense from game to game, they don't change much. They're going to line up and play defense, and they do about three things, and that's it. And so there's no, there's not going to be anything surprising you're going to see. You know, the biggest thing with him is just consistency. You know, I mean, he gets his kids to play at a consistent level. And, uh, and week in and week out, regardless of who they play, regardless of what scheme they play, but they go out and play well. You know, I mean, it's hard to run the ball on them, which, I mean, every offense, you know, I mean, if you if you can run the ball versus somebody, typically you can get safeties involved or whatever. It's hard to run the ball against their, their front of their defense because they're, they're tough. They're tough kids. They're hard to move. Obviously, they've bought in to, to what they're doing and the defensive scheme, and they, and they play it well.